Hi everyone, I'm Miss Kelly and I'm so glad that you're stopping by for another story time today. We're outside, so I wanted to include some special guests today. These are a couple of chimpanzees that have lived at my house for a long time and I wanted you to have a chance to meet them. This one, just underneath her eyes, is wearing a mask that I made last spring. And you might be seeing people you love and people in your neighborhood wearing masks now too. But the little one, the baby is not wearing a mask, right? Babies are too little for that. So I'm going to set the chimpanzees right over here so that they can hear our story today too. I have Willie's Pictures by Anthony Brown. And this book is a little bit different than some of them that you might have at your house. Because in the back, it has pictures by artists that lived a long time ago. And these artist pictures are inspiring the pictures that Anthony Brown is using in his book. So we have Willie's Pictures by Anthony Brown. He's both the writer and the illustrator of this story. So he wrote the words and he made all the pictures. And he's using the title page to give us an idea of some of the characters that he's using in his story. Willie likes painting and looking at pictures. He knows that every picture tells a story. The first picture he calls the birthday suit. Quick, cover yourself up. And the second one is my best ever sand castle. I was so pleased with it, but I had an odd feeling that the castle was trying to warn me of something. Lots and lots and lots of dots. We gradually started to notice some very strange things in the park. Have you ever seen a pig walking around the park? The kind women. I've been getting a bit bored with painting all that grass. There's so much grass in that picture. And look how we found some help with it. Early morning dream. I'm just taking my dog for a walk. And this one is my birthday. At first I thought it was great fun, but would they ever stop? Oh no, he must have been bouncing for a long time. At the swimming pool. Oh no, it's the wrong changing room. Oh, he's running out of there very quickly. Coming to life. I was just finishing this painting when I heard a small voice say, give us a hand. The mysterious smile. Can you solve the mystery? This picture is from a very famous painting in Paris called Mona Lisa. And a lot of people look at her little smile and they wonder, what is she smiling at? So now Anthony Brown's asking us, why is she smiling? The fruitful fishing trip. We hadn't caught anything all day and we're on our way home when we cast our net for the last time. Room without a view. I had always hated looking at that window, so one morning I decided to do something about it. Oh no, he was tired of looking at that brick wall. He had a problem and he found a way to fix it, didn't he? This one's called My Nightmare! The dreadful invitation read, you are cordially invited to attend the wedding ceremony of Millie and Buster Nose. That's a very different kind of wedding, isn't it? This one's an odd day. As soon as we got there, it seemed that Millie was in a hurry to go home. I'm sorry, she said, I must fly. And she was off. Landscape with onion. Do you know what a landscape is? That means a picture of the outside, grass, trees, maybe a lake. This one's landscape with onion. We followed it for miles finally hunted it down. So it's a hunting expedition out looking for onions. 
And this one is merely a self-portrait. Some of my friends wanted to help. And a self-portrait means he painted a picture of himself. And this is called the hero. I can dream, can't I? He's dreaming of slaying dragons. Now come for a tour of the pictures that inspired Willie. These pictures tell stories too. Try matching them with Willie's pictures and read what Willie says about them. But look at the desk. What's on the desk? It looks like a mask. So who's leading us out into the next part of the book, huh? Oh, these are all those first pictures that inspired the artist. So what I'll do is I'll take some of these pictures and put them into slides. So if you'd like to make some comparisons and see them more closely, then you can do that too. But otherwise, enjoy the story. Thanks. If your family happens to already be familiar with the parodies of Weird Al Yankovic, then you'll have a really good understanding of what Anthony Brown has done with Willie's pictures. He's gone back into the world of art history and taking these very famous paintings and then put a really comical twist on them to make them fun for young children. As was mentioned in the, in the video, I did create some slides of a few of those original pictures, so it's a little easier to make comparisons. Um, but I did put in one addition, just because I felt like it was important to have a living artist represented too. I've taken a picture by Kahindi Wiley that is on display at the Detroit Institute of Arts and added that for your explorations too. Also, if you're interested in getting a hard copy of Willie's pictures, I did take a look at the catalog for the Suburban Library Cooperative, and there are seven local libraries that have copies of that book too, so it should be fairly easy to get one of those to look at. Have fun exploring, and let me know if you have any comments.